Well, hello, this is Marla D with Clear and Simple at the end of our 30 day clutter clear out. Letting go of just one thing a day for 30 days. I am so hoping that you freed your space of stuff that you no longer needed or even wanted. And I thought for fun, what I would do is a little video showing you the stuff, yep, the stuff, the three tubs of stuff that came out of my house. And I've talked about this before. I don't think I have clutter. I mean, I've been in this game for 22 years. <laughs> and I like to think that I live a simple life, but I still have stuff. So I'm gonna share a couple of stories so that you know you're not alone. And these are typical things that I see in my client spaces all the time. I'm hoping that you'll feel brave enough to maybe share some more videos with me after you see this one. So first of all, who has the phone case from the old phone? This would no longer fit the current phone, but the phone case somehow stays in the drawer and doesn't ever leave the space. Now this one's really funny. This is a medal because my husband won third place in the local chili cook-off. So they gave him this fancy medal and took pictures for the local newspaper and then this comes home and what is he supposed to do with it so it lands in a drawer and then 30 years later when somebody's cleaning out our home they're going to find this so this is going bye bye uh this was kind of funny i actually got into the back storage area of my home office and found old printouts of my see it map it do it and stacks cards these are no longer any good but I still have them. And I found all these old versions of our ebooks, organizing your vital documents and your bedroom and your office and the simple life. Yeah, these haven't been good for three or four years, but you know, look at all that paper and toner that went into printing those. How can I possibly recycle those? Those are going bye bye. Yes, they are. Here's a funny story. I got this from Tupperware probably 25 years ago, and you know Tupperware lasts forever, but this has been my jewelry box for many a year. Look at how cool this is, has all these little layers. Yeah. And oh, oh my gosh, seriously, look at, there's my old watch. <laughs> and the old Fitbit are still in there. So when we moved into our current home, three years ago now, we put in the Alpha system in the closet, and I have a beautiful jewelry drawer, so I have not needed this for three years. But I'm telling you, it was still hanging out in my closet, so this is finally going away. Here's a funny story. We cleaned out my husband's old file box that had his vile documents and we organized it and put it in the safe which feels amazing so this was in there it's a bit old but guess what we found inside we found a bunch of savings bonds from 1973. yep they stopped earning interest 10 years ago so he went and took those to the bank recently and made 1200 dollars in interest on something that was sitting in this little container so we always find money. It's kind of amazing, but we do. And here's just a collection, Marla and her black bags, wallets, purses. It's amazing. Um, letting go of more of those. And the old cat toys. And seriously, how many new toothbrushes does a person need? Because I already have brand new ones in my house for guests. So those are going to buy. This one's fun. We ordered a brand new set of beautiful knives this year and they send it along with this gorgeous case, which we do not need. But what do you do with it, right? This is the kind of stuff that then gets set aside and stays there for years. And that's why I love doing the 30 day clutter clear out because it gives you that opportunity to go through the different spaces in your home and let go of stuff like that. Books are going bye-bye, but look, this is kind of funny and sad. Actually, this is sad. So we lost a dear friend earlier this year, 
and she loved doing puzzles. So this is hers. It's not like anybody could do this, but I had it for a while as a little memorabilia piece of her because every time I looked at it, it would just make my heart happy and sad at the same time. So I do need to let that go. But you know, somehow that will work with my books. So very few things, two entire tubs of clothes going bye-bye. And yep, I'll see if we can get these clothes. An old pair of flip-flops. I am talking old, worn into the dirt. And it was so hard for me to let go of these. They've been living at my kitchen door and I would say, well, I can slip those on when I go outside, right? No, because I actually have a much nicer, more comfortable, supportive pair that I slip on when I'm going outside. But it was so hard for me to let go of these, you guys. And we really do get these funky, weird attachments. A super soft baby blanket. Yeah, this is when my grandson was two. He's just turned 16, okay? I can let this go now, but it's been hanging out for a good long time. And many clothes. I don't know what it is about the clothes, but they just seem to always build up and then it's time to let them go. This one was a favorite for many years. Eddie Bauer, super soft, but it literally is worn out and stained and pretty gross when you get close to it. So it needs to go bye-bye. So that's a little bit of what I'm letting go of. And I so hope that this has been fun for you to see that you're not alone. And I look forward to doing this again with you next year. So for now, I want you to trust that whatever amount you let go of, a little bit or a lot, was just right. And you can get support all throughout the year. Just go to clearsimple.com forward slash clever clear out. I'll see you again next year.